senior and junior who have worked very hard toward this. Give them a hand. And certainly my sister, uh, on Ramadan, we're honored that uh, you would be with us and the Muslim community and Christian community and all communities must come together because we all are facing the same plight. And it does not, I don't take lightly in the middle of Ramadan her being here. Give her another hand. Let me say briefly, 47 years ago, people from around the country heard the cry, as our sister said, of A. Philip Randolph and Martin Luther King Jr. and Dorothy Hyde and John Lewis to come to Washington. They came in the back of buses because it was against the law when they came in many states for blacks to even ride the front. They had to pack their lunches because there wasn't a restaurant that would sell them a meal between the South and Washington, D.C. Even worse, they had to hold their bodies because there wasn't a gas station that would let them use a public toilet. But because they came, and when they got there and dreamed, when we go back, because of them, it would be a different condition. It was a dream, but they left and went to work to make their dreams true. In the next year, they passed the Civil Rights Act. So now we can fly first class. The year after that, they passed the Voting Rights Act. So now we have a black president and two black governors and black mayors. They did their job. And they made their dreams true. The question is whether 47 years later, we are too irresponsible, too divided, and too petty to do our job. Dr. King worked until he died. He died working on the Poor People's Campaign. That's right. One of the last stops in the campaign is he came through Newark and met right here with Imam Baraka. If he would have come back today and see Roz Baraka sitting in the city council and Barack Obama sitting in the White House, he could say, I've done my job. George Wallace's yes. and the Lester Maddox's. Yes. He stood up to churches being burned and his home being bombed yes. and being knifed in the chest and he never stopped. That's right. Grandmamas looked at biting dogs and fire hoses and they never stopped. That's right. But here we are Go ahead. in the 21st century Talk about it. with big positions, Come on, big hey. titles, Come on. Go ahead, Go living out in the suburbs, right. and the Tea Party running us off the street, scared to stand up for our children, scared to correct our education, too low down and petty and egotistical to come together and solve the problems of today. We've lost our way. So we are calling on our communities to come together in the same spirit of 63 to reclaim the dream now. Right now, we are doubly unemployed. Not 63 in 2010. Right now. We don't have the proper health care across this country. Right now, our schools are overcrowded. Our kids are at the eighth grade reading at a 